cocktails for you today and uh, are going to be delicious. They're going to be spooky fine, so we hope you'll join us and we'll show you our top five. Okay, so after some brief technical difficulties where we nearly dropped a £700 camera on the floor, we're going to make a black magic margarita. A little bit of gimmick to this one. It's a standard margarita, but it's made black through the use of food colouring. Let's get started. Okay, so for this drink, we've got tequila, which is here. We've also got some lime juice here, and we've got some triple sec here. We've got some red, blue, and green food coloring here as well. And then we're gonna add a green sugar rim as well. Okay, so first thing we're gonna do with our glass is we're just going to line the rim of the glass with lime juice. Then what we're gonna do after that is we're going to dip our rim into our uh, green sugar mixture. So we dipped it in, so we just got a nice green little rim around the edge here. We're going to add two parts of tequila, two parts of lime juice, and one part of triple sec. So, got a trusty little measuring, measuring thing here. Um, not being too particular about the measurements, I'm just doing I'm just doing it in parts, so we'll just do two parts of tequila, and then we'll pour in our lime juice. Uh, might have done slightly too little lime juice for that one, I'm not going to lie, but we're going to add one part of triple sec here, and then we're going to add the food colouring. So you literally just want one tiny little drop of blue, like as small as you can get. That was not particularly small. I'm gonna get one drop of the green, and then we're gonna get one drop of the red as well, and we're gonna give it a mix. I'm gonna add a couple of ice cubes to that as well, just for a bit of volume. Yeah, I'm sure you guys will have more scientific methods of measuring stuff, but this should turn out black. If you add equal parts of red, green, and blue, you'll end up with a black margarita. Just for a little bit of decoration, what we're gonna do is we're gonna put a lime slice and a couple of eyeball ice cubes in there as well. That's very spooky. Okay, so next up we're gonna make the sweet poison cocktail. So this is gonna be a coconut rum. You can use Malibu, we've not got that this time. Blue carousel, pineapple juice, and then a bit of grenadine. So this is gonna be three parts coconut rum. One part blue carousel. It's gonna be two parts pineapple. Always make sure to shoot your pineapple juice. Gonna make such a nice colour. I'm gonna start over at the other side and kind of just say this looks amazing. Now I've gotta put it in the shaker, so I wish me luck. After we've shaken it all together. And then we're just going to add a bit of grenadine just for a bit of colour at the bottom. It will sink to the bottom. I hope you can see it just falling down there. We'll just let it settle. We'll add a little bit more ice. Added a little bit more grenadine just for colour. And that is our sweet poison. And then just for decoration in our sweet poison, I'm just going to put carrot and marshmallow in. Okay, so next drink we're gonna make is the Blood Donor. Now, this has cranberry juice, grenadine, and the main alcoholic constituent is coconut rum, which we have labeled here as the essence of death. Very spooky. All right, let's get started. Okay, so with this drink, we're going to mix one part grenadine, and for one part in this particular occasion, we're going to say that that is equal to 25 milliliters or just underneath one fluid ounce. And then we're going to use three parts of coconut rum. Uh, I'm using Malibu here. And then we're going to do four parts of cranberry juice. And then what we're going to do is we're going to give that a little mix. And then we'll pour the back in here. The garnish, we're just gonna put in some sweet vampire fangs. This is purely optional, of course. 
And there we have it. That is our blood donor. So that is cranberry juice with coconut rum and grenadine with a black sugar rim and some vampire fangs to garnish. So next we're going to make the purple people eater. So we're going to start by adding some sanding sugar to our glass. So we've added the rim. The one part sweet and sour mix. One and a half part vodka. We've renamed ours to which is brew, and then one part blue carousel. So then we will add one part grenadine, this is going to give it its colour mixing with the blue, and then one part cranberry juice. So then we're going to mix it with ice, and then just to garnish, we will add some ice to our purple people eater, and there we go. And then a fun Halloween one, we're going to make our candy corn cocktail. Yeah, so we've had some candy corn submerged in vodka for probably around three or four hours in the fridge now. We're just going to go ahead and drain this off and we'll show you the end result. And this is going everywhere, but we end up with a colour, something like this. And I kind of just say it tastes fantastic. So sweet. Alright, so the recipe we're actually following doesn't specify how much of the candy corn vodka you're meant to put in. We're gonna wing it. It says to pour it over a spoon as well, so... Okay, so we're having a bit of an epic fail here when it comes to layering the orange juice in the candy corn, but it's gonna taste delicious, so it's fine. We've got one each now. Yeah. We're gonna add squirty cream to the top. <laughs> do you want to do your own? This looks so amazing. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh my wow. god, I've got a bit much in there. Uh, extreme. Compared. Expertly applied do whipped this. cream there, ladies and gentlemen. And then fun part, you get to add some candy corn to the top. However much you want. And sprinkle a few on. Oh, miss, sorry. So that was our five favourite Halloween cocktails. We absolutely love the look of these. Yeah, um, so this was just kind of a compilation of things that we found on the likes of Pinterest and YouTube. If you have liked the video, please do feel free to give us a big thumbs up. And do subscribe to the channel for our future videos as well. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Thanks for watching. Cheers. Bye. Bye.